Today we're going to be taking a blue gens box for your Vexlar and upgrading this simple blue box to one of the best hole hopping units I will have and possibly you guys after you watch this video and see how easy it is. Alright guys. Alright, so the first thing that I did is I hooked up this light. Um, I went ahead and did this because I didn't think I was going to make a video. But I hooked up this light so I can hole hop at night. And what I did is I ran the wires, I drilled a hole, had this hole left there so I could still have my circle hoop for the transducer. And then um, I ran the wires to a switch that I drilled to be perfectly flush so I can see. And then I have it on off. Um, don't have it plugged in right now. But then it just runs to your two back here. I can go ahead and show you that now. Then just flip on the switch. Voila. So that was the first step. I liked. I wanted to do that. And it turned out really good. And I like it so far. And this was actually in the boating section at Walmart. So. Alright, so I got this inch and a quarter PVC that I need to take and cut into two sections that will be perfect fitting for assist as a rod holder. But to do this, we need to take off the back of the blue gen box. So let's go ahead and do that first. Alrighty, now we're gonna measure. Measures out to be about four and three eighths. So now we're gonna take our PVC, measure out to four and three eighths. And we're gonna make two of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for two and then cut. This would have been a lot easier if I brought my cut through anything saw. So. But I left it at work, so just have to use this for today. It's not the best, but it works. We're going to take these and then this and then mount that to that. Now that I get it all mounted up, um, you guys are probably wondering what this one is, but I'll go over that in a little bit, what this one is for. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thing back on there, um, onto the thing, because we're done with this part. Now we got to move on to the next. Alrighty. So I went to Menards, and I got these forceps that are nice, but I never had pliers on me. So I thought, why not put it on to my Vexlar that I'll be using. And then I actually had this on hand, but it's just a retractable thing. And um, I did it the opposite way. Usually you're supposed to put this onto something, but I like this circle hoop, how it's gonna, um, because I'll show you that now. So this is the easiest thing out of the whole entire thing. All you have to do is unscrew this mounting screw. Take your forceps that have the little eye loop where the bolt would be, put this through, screw it in, and now you have your forceps, and then how I do it is I just tuck them in in the back, right there, or there, and if you need them, voila, you guys got them. So that was the easiest part of the whole thing. Now to why I ended up putting this on here. So I went and got a $2.00. It might even been cheaper, um, cheaper version of the ice scoop, just the cheap plastic one. So that reason is that I can have this in here. But what I'm doing is I'm going to cut this to where it literally 
just sits in there. So it's going to be just the scoop, a little bit of the handle. That way it just sits in there, you have it in there, you're ready to go. And then you have yourself a little scoop. And then I'm going to use a little electrical tape too, so you're not holding on to this cold handle. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's cut this thing and get it all fitted. Already now that I got it cut, I'll go ahead and put electrical tape around here so I have a nice end. Just a nice scoop when you're just down there. Knees on the ground, you know you're that close. Just need to scoop some things out so you don't have slush. Now to the electrical tape to make like a nice little handle. because the electrical tape you can add more if you need it but voila I think that's it all right guys so let's get some poles in there and, and then I'll give you guys a little b-roll of it all right guys Gosh. Alrighty guys, if you guys want to see more DIY stuff, go and say it in the comments, but because this was kind of fun while I got to stay inside because it was cold outside, so. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.